Hello there, I am Giant Girl with more Earthbound. In the last part, we continued this underworld, uh, in this area, this underworld, yeah. So, we're gonna take on the Stego, uh, the Champosaurus, I mean, I must have said Stegosaurus. <laughs> okay, so, and, uh, we actually, um, went to that little village, we got, we got, we talked to Talking Rock about, like, our prophecy and everything, reminding it, getting a friendly reminder on what we have to do and stuff. And we also equipped, we also upgraded some of our, um, inventory items, like, we got the ultimate bat for Ness, and we got the shiny coin for Ness, we got the holy, holy fry pan for Paula. Yeah. So let's continue on. The Stegos, no, I must have Stegosaurus again. This Chompasaur is gonna go downtown. Yeah. It's gonna deflect some of our attacks, which kinda stinks. It's kind of good not to use like PSI attacks on this on the Chompasaurus because they can like I think they can also fuck PSI attacks. Or maybe just physical attacks. I don't know. Yeah, some of this this battle music is pretty cool. It's like thump 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 thump. Yeah. A huge foot, of course. It didn't always jam to pull. Ah, we gotta take this thing out. We gotta take this thing out. Okay, cool. Yeah, we got smash deck at the right time. And Sinfin's getting level 1094 experience. Cool. I choose PSI away for beta on power then. There we go. Let's continue on then. And stupid chomp is away. Causing trouble. So if we go down over here. We can actually go in this cave, but it's like a, it's a dead end and it only has a couple of things that, sh uh, that you can see. I think we go in this area later on though. This has some crazy music too. Over there, there's some stick out from the ground. And over there, it looks like, um, pile of rocks that's kind of shaped like the sky around there. So, it's odd. So you can't really jump to the next platform either. So I kinda, we can have to go the way, back the way we came actually, for now. Hopefully we can explore that area later if we can. That'd be nice. So if you go down here, it's probably going to be an enemy or something, you know. There always is. Oh, there's a Chompasaur. Let's take it on, then. I'm not scared of any Chompasaur. It'd be cool if I could get, like, Paula's ultimate item in, like, on camera. <laughs> without it, without having to do it off screen. But, yeah, it's a less than 1% chance again. So, it's very unlikely, but it could happen still. You and your shield that the fuck is attacked back at us at half damage. That was inflicted. That deals half damage while we deal on you or something. Like say um, we did like 70 HP on the chumpers or the shield would deflect it back and do 35 damage on whoever did that attack. So. That's a bummer. Okay. There we go. The chumpers would became tame. Yay. And Sven's getting 11,094 experience each. Nice. Cool. Up here is, um, the last, uh, one of the last, uh, well, I'd recommend use, it's one of the last equipable items for Pooh. Which is, you really want to get, actually, it's the Cloak of Kings. So in the present, there's a Cloak of Kings inside, and it takes it. Cool. Let's give that to Pooh. Yeah. Give to Pooh. Yeah, there we go. And we can go to some uh, equip item menu, I mean equip menu. Go to spotty cloak. I think, yeah, it, it um, it, I think it raised its, um, defense by 20, yeah, from 175 to 195, so that's good. So now he has the Sword of Kings, Cloak of Kings, Burst of Kings, and Diadem of Kings. So he's fully equipped now, which is awesome. Here's a white nose sword. Let's take him on. Bash, bash, shoot, and bash, I guess. I'd rather fight an, a white nose sword than a uh, chompasaur any day because, like, the white nose swords don't have that shield that deflects attacks, which is awesome. For us, at least. And we got a couple smash attacks there, actually. That's pretty cool. Now, since Finn's getting 8,275 experience each. Cool. Cool. down here. I think there's a safe point up there. Oh, another earthquake. Wow. Let's see if we can get that geyser. Nope, I guess. We no, we're not gonna make it in time. Dang, I wanted to do this. I think the, like in the a water one, the blue one restores HP, I believe, and the red one just restores PP. 
That's cool. Let's read this sign. In case of danger, evacuate here, the boss. Okay. Let's talk to this tender real quick. Um, here's the, here are the dinosaurs don't come and attack me, so I can relax. Except for now. Except now I can't get out. That sounds like a you problem, honestly. Ring, ring, ring. Okay, here's a safe point. And actually, I'm going to end the part right here. So this is my, it's my final let's play part. And next we'll take on more of the, um, well, actually, we're going to take on that uh, uh, last sanctuary dungeon, which is Fire Springs. So, yeah, which is over there in the southwest corner. I think I could show the entrance to it. Over there in the top of, of part of your screen right there is Fire Springs. So, yeah, we're going to take that on next to start, the, start that last sanctuary dungeon in the next part. So, yeah, so this has been Janko again. I would like to thank for checking in. Goodbye. And I hope to see you guys next time on Earthbound. Let's play.